what is up you guys welcome back to my channel today i have a review for you another tiktok made me do it moment but before we get into the video i would like to give a huge shout out and thanks to deval i hope i'm saying that correctly i'm so sorry if i butchered your name deval radiance skincare system this is an amazing skincare tool let me tell you off the bat i love anything skincare related and when they reached out to me and sent me this i was like yeah best I believe i'm gonna say yes okay i've been using this for a few days now and i am absolutely in love i'm gonna take it out i put it back in the packaging so you guys can see how it comes and i'm gonna go ahead and quickly go into the website actually let me get into my email because i got a coupon code for y'all um hold up wait a minute Okay, wait a minute, hold up, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm almost there, I'm almost there. Hold on, hold on. Okay, here it is, here it is. I found my, I found my email. Okay, so, this right here, this right here, is where it's at. Um, I love using these type of tools for my face. I've been using tools like this for quite a while now. When I first discovered um a facial tool like this a facial brush i was obsessed and so um i continued to purchase them to just to try out different types and i seen this one and i was so impressed because it has a huge brush for your body i was like whoa i need that i totally need that because this is such a great exfoliator for your arms, your elbows, your feet, your knees, your everything, all your whole body, your back, you know, if somebody can help you out back there, you know what I'm saying? Get your whole back, but you just, it's a snap on head. You snap it on, boom, and it spins, completely spins. It doesn't just vibrate, it completely spins. It is battery operated, and it does require four AA batteries. I do love using the rechargeable batteries you can get these on amazon and um they do have a rechargeable version i didn't notice when i got this so i selected this one but it's okay you guys can pay just a couple more dollars for the one that you just put in the dock and it charges it which i absolutely love that you know so unless you have rechargeable batteries and you're set you know what i'm saying you just pop these in the charger and charge your batteries over and over so i'm obsessed with this one what is that what was i gonna say i lost my train of thought What I was trying to say, I got my thoughts together, is that these bristles are non-abrasive, so they are not going to be too harsh on your skin. This is for your body. If you got a big face, baby girl, go ahead and use it on your face. I mean, I have used it on my neck. So you interchange that, and then you use the smaller one for your face. So they do come with two small ones. Let me just read. See if it's it spins look at that I love it so it includes four deep cleansing brush heads designed to reveal your skin's inner radiance facial exfoliation brush large body body cleansing brush facial cleansing brush and a pumice stone so if you got crusty feet baby girl let me tell you pop this little sucker on hello soak your soak your heels your feet in water even if probably in your hand oh it does work on your hands i have dr i don't know if y'all could see that dryness just coming right off oh my gosh i haven't used this pumice stone so i'm like trying it on my finger because i have a dry area here on my hand that is disgusting i'm sorry if you can see that but there's like little particles of dry skin just coming off, which I'm totally here for it. What? I did not 
plan on doing that. I'm sorry, I just thought about, but that is so cool. It totally works. My feet are not cracked. My heels are a little dry, but we're not gonna show you that here, you know what I'm saying? But this is really good for dryness for your feet. I mean, if you have calluses, probably on your hands too. Try it out. I don't know. You just seen me try it out. Nothing happened. Just make sure you moisturize. And then it comes with another facial head. I'm so sorry if I'm sniffling. I have major allergies. I was interacting with my dog. And I'm allergic to dogs. So I'm so sorry if I'm sniffing over here. Um, but this is, this is probably a little bit more stiff, the bristles. So this is a good exfoliating bristle head. And this one's a little bit more on the softer side, you know. But yeah, you guys should definitely give this a try. I'm going to go ahead and link the website um, in my bio. And you guys, I have a code for you guys. This is insane. You guys can get 70% off of this system here by using my code, which is LIZLO70. 70% 70 off. This is ridiculous. This code works on anything on their website, and you could use it on the other um, device as well that's rechargeable. Yo, go ham. They have different stuff on their website. So they have straighteners, you know, tools for your hair. Come on, you better you better go holler at them. Um, go check them out. You guys, this is... I'm obsessed. I'm like, I use this every single day. I've been using it every single day since I got it. And I can't tell you how happy I am with this product. Not only will you be having more radiant skin, but it, it exfoliates all your dead skin cells, which helps regenerate new ones. And it just, your skin looks flawless. I still have not hydrated or moisturized or anything. And I feel like my skin looks amazing. Period. Okay. Now... Let's get into this video. Okay, so I had a complete TikTok made me do it moment again. If you guys seen my other video of TikTok made me do it, I had purchased the Chanel boxes up there. That one was Instagram made me do it, another Chanel purchase. But I had purchased the Chanel cotton, cotton swabs, I guess. So, if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. I'm going to go ahead and cleanse my face because I haven't done anything to my face. But anyways, so I purchased this item because I keep seeing it on Instagram. Oh, not on Instagram, on TikTok. I'm just using some rose water to tone. And so, I was like, I got to try this freaking island because everybody's raving about it and i'm like your girl got chicken head eyebrows so i need to try this so i picked up the maybelline tattoo brow from amazon which i actually applied two nights ago and i don't think you could even see it anymore but they are a little bit tinted still i'm trying to take it off so i can do a fresh new you know, round. Sorry, I have not groomed my brows. Anyways, I have a lot of sparse areas. I accidentally waxed this part of my eyebrows the other day. So we need to fill those in. But anyways, so I did it two nights ago. I thought it was going to last longer. But I also said to myself, well, we all create natural oils in our skin. So I don't think it's going to last that long. Anyways... It lasted long enough for me. It lasted two nights, so I had a swatch on my hand. I promise I shower every single day and I wash my hands every single day. But it still uh, is stained on my hand. So, And so I put it on my hand because I was like, let me try it out on my hand first to see if I don't get a reaction from it. Because a lot of people are talking smack about it. But uh, this is what the component looks like. It looks like an eyebrow gel or, or whatnot but it comes with the brush tip like so but i'm not going to apply it directly on my eyebrows i'm going to put some on my palette here and i'm going to pick it up with a brush now the instructions are unclear for 
us with language barriers because I don't know what language is in the back of this unicarton. So I don't know how long you're supposed to leave it on. I think when I did mine two days ago, I left it on for 20 minutes. And I had absolutely no reaction. I was not very precise with them. But I still like the outcome. So I'm just going to use, this is what I use. I used a very thin angled brush. As you can tell, it is very, very thin. I love using this when I do my brows because it allows me to create natural eyebrow strokes. And I think I'm going to start off with this and then I'm going to go ahead and go with something thicker so that I can saturate the brows. So I'm just going to dip this into this product here and I'm going to try to be as precise as possible because um, it's going to stain. Hello, that's the whole reason. So I create, I just, I'm going to map out my brows just like I always do with any normal brow product. Again, I have not groomed my eyebrows. Let me just zoom in a little bit so you guys can get a better look at this, right? Okay, so I did the bottom. And now I'm doing the top. And then once you map out the shape of your brow, you can start filling in your eyebrows. I'm going to start with the tail of the brow. And this is going to dry fairly quickly, so you want to work kind of fast with it. I'm going to pick up this thicker brush here. See how it's a, little, a lot thicker? That way I can saturate the brows a little bit better so that it can stain... my brow a lot better than it did last time and um, there's no sparse areas you can go a little bit lighter handed on the beginning of the brow if you want more of a ombre look just go not don't saturate that area but if you don't mind a full-on stained brow then just go ham you know so you can brush it through or you can press it in so that it's fully saturated and if you want to go back with that thinner brush just go back in there and kind of create like real eyebrow hair strokes you know I may not come out who knows I haven't tried the hair strokes but I need to put some more on my palette here to get more product some people go directly with this brush I prefer not to because I quite possibly will be using this product either on clients or family members that need their makeup done so I'm not going to go ahead and dip and apply directly on my eyebrows. So I think they are nicely saturated, in my opinion. I guess we'll find out once I peel it off, right? <laughs> so I don't want to... I kind of do want a little bit of an ombre effect, you know. We'll see how that turns out. I'm gonna work on this eyebrow and then I will be right back. All right, so the eyebrows are on. You guys, my eyebrows are not twin sisters. They are distant cousins, so don't come for my eyebrows, okay? I know they're not created equal, so we're just gonna let them be. So don't let them be, okay? Because I am in a huge rush. 
and I probably should have waited to do this video another day and I always do that I always do that to myself I when I have somewhere to go I want to sit down and do a video in a rush shame on me so all right we are gonna let that dry for a few minutes and while we let that dry I don't think I'm gonna let it uh, dry for 20 minutes honestly I'm zooming you out because I'm gonna prep my skin while this is on it looks crazy because it's dark I did get the dark brown I believe we have two other colors probably more but I only remember seeing like a light or soft brown a medium brown and then a dark brown and I figured I'd get a dark brown because I have dark hair and I wasn't sure how dark it was going to leave it stained. I knew that it was going to be lighter once you peel it off. So I went with the darkest they have. And let me just move that little piece. It Honestly, it's going to start. It, it's already some parts already ready to peel and it peels off fairly easily. I did not experience any removal of the brows my existing brows my little tres pelitos none of my eyebrows came off so that was cool i did hear some people saying that their eyebrows came off but i'm like mm, i don't know how much product you're putting on that it's probably like overly saturated which is <sighs> acting like a wax that's taking off your eyebrow hairs i'm just using some under eye cream from chanel they sent samples when you order from them and i selected an eye cream because hello skincare i love you and i have a mascara that they sent over and then on my other order they sent out some fragrances and i absolutely am obsessed with one of them and it's called allure home sport and it's a Cologne. It's a man cologne, but I don't care. It smells good. Look at. See, I'm already. I'm almost done with it. I'm so sad. Oh, but it's so delicious. Oh my gosh. I don't care if I smell like a man. It smells. Oh, divine. Okay. So I kind of wanna. I don't know. Maybe put some mascara on or something. I'm meeting up with a friend. So I actually need to hurry this up. So while these dry, I'm gonna do some mascara, uh, maybe some concealer, I don't know. I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I try to do my face as quickly as possible. I have not finished yet, but I'm just gonna remove the eyebrows now because I am so late, you guys. I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little more so you guys can see. I think they're ready to peel. OMG. Just gotta scratch it a little bit and then boom it comes right off can you see that lifting and if it doesn't come off a like as a peel that means it could possibly still need to dry a little bit more but i don't got no time for it to dry see how that's peeling it does not hurt it's not ripping out any of my hairs some of this i think is still wet no it's actually it's good. See? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Can you see that? That's the dried up product that peeled off. And it's boom, easy. I just want to throw it out and mention it that I am not um, sponsored by this company, Maybelline. If you want to go ahead and uh, sponsor me, hit me up. I purchased this with my own money. Get a little spoolie if you have like residue and then just brush it out. That is actually a very, 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 very nice outcome. So much nicer than the first time. Let's go ahead and scratch this off. I guess you could use a spoolie as well, but I am I'm pleasantly 
surprise. This one I feel like it still needs time to to heal. <laughs> Look at me acting like I got microblading. Um, let's swipe up. Swipe up. No. Okay, that came off. OMG. OMG. And then you know you can use concealer to clean up any discrepancies of the product but i am so impressed okay brush it through with more time on my hands i think they would have came out a little bit better because i would have focused the product more so on the sparse areas oh my gosh they are absolutely incredible i love it see i would have filled this in a little bit because that's a uh, sparse area in my brow that i tend to fill in a little bit more but i don't care i am loving the results i'm going to apply a little bit of powder over them it's not shiny but i you know just in case i love them they're not at twins i'm telling y'all they are distant cousins but we're gonna work with it girl once i go over it again with a product and groom my brows hello microblading aware no i'm just kidding <sighs> this is actually really nice i'm actually really really digging it um as y'all can see that they're not coming off it's not coming off not that is so cool this one definitely needs work but i don't know what do you guys think let me just hurry up and put some bronzer on so i can get up out of here and go about my day obviously it's waterproof because it stays on your brows for a couple of days at least for me it did but i do wash my face twice a day with that face tool that I just showed you in the beginning of the video. So it is probable that it didn't last long, longer than two nights because how often I wash my face. But this is really cool if you are going swimming. I don't know if it's gonna go take, I don't know if it's gonna come off while you're swimming. So don't even quote me on that. But it seems like it would be something cool for that. If you're going to the gym, you don't want your eyebrows to come off. You know, you could try it on that. Put a little bit of chapstick or conditioner here. Um, overall, I think this is such an amazing product. I didn't get any adverse reactions to this. Um, you know, it could, depending on what tone you get, it could possibly start turning green kind of like henna tattoo but y'all i love it you guys seen the beginning of the video i actually today was the second day of me wearing this product but it was already fading off and it was not green on my eyebrows so it just i don't know i don't know what the ingredients on there are so if you have really sensitive skin, I would probably do some research on it. But other than that, I love it. It's a go for me. I'm probably definitely going to purchase this again, you know, once it finishes. But I'm loving it. I'm going to try it on my mom as well to see if she likes it on her eyebrows. But... That is all, you guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you've tried this before, let me know. Comment down below. I'll leave the link to the product in the description as well. And I will see y'all on the next one. Bye.